when you say your business is going digital, is it that you know your, your marketing is digital or your product is digital or you're living on the internet? What what is digital? Yeah, it's basically you know like you are going into a different medium. Uh, like there are many social networks uh, these days. Gone are the days where uh, people meet each other in person. So nowadays everyone meet in a, uh, in Facebook or you know like Twitter or in a WhatsApp. So that has become a very huge marketing platform to reach the audience. So that is uh, digital according to me. You know, sure. like, uh, very important keyword you use reach. Reach. reach yes. Which reach. is digital, reach. right? Uh, soon panel discussions will also be yeah. digital. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. What what is digital according to you? So I think just in concurrence to what he said, I mean, we're used to engaging with people on a physical world. So moving out of that physical world and going into these alternate uh, mediums, which could be, and now customers have several touch points, could be over the phone, could be, um, you know, just at a kiosk, could be anything. But there's scope for digital across all of that. Uh, so I think that's what we're looking at uh, digital. Largely. So you're saying changing the reach, offline. Changing the, changing the medium, I changing guess. Changing so. the medium, changing yes. the medium, point taken. Shum. One quick question. How many of us look at our mobile phone within the first hour of waking up? First hour of waking up. I think you should say one okay. minute of waking up. In fact, I would say for one minute, maybe <laughs> 25, 30% would go, 100%. That's digital life we talk about, right? Digital is there embedded. Look at the way how we are transacting, whether we pay bills, the way we buy tickets, the way by we get flight uh, bookings, everything is online today. No, predominantly, we don't stand in the queues, we don't have time, which actually means that time, efficiency, effectiveness, everything comes into our life. So digital has become the way of life today. Digital has become the way of life and that's when the power of digital comes in. It, it's yes. eased out everything, right? Absolutely. Uh, let's talk about power of digital in business, right? How many of you want to know how your Businesses can benefit through digital, pretty much everyone, right? Or you want to talk about Facebook, how you can personally meet people, no, right? Everyone, digital for business? All right, let's go. Uh, I'll start with you, Vinod. Uh, Choo Choo TV, you know, I, I, honestly, I didn't know of this uh, till my niece told me. I think all the nieces in the world are subscribed to Choo Choo TV. How did this idea come about? Why did you choose YouTube as a medium? Yeah, basically, uh, I would say I'm a person with the media DNA. Uh, but I was forced to do a, a software business uh, just to make money with my friends. So uh, in 2001, I started a, a, a small firm, an IT services firm, where we uh, developed these websites and you know, like apps and stuff. So uh, it was in 2013. Uh, and although I was in that software industry, uh, I am son of uh, um, late Mr. Chandra Bose, uh, popular music director in uh, the Tamil industry. So I learned music from my dad and I was into this music and media stuff always. But however, uh, due, to, due to my business commitments, I never had any time. So in 2013, I was enjoying my life with my two-year-old daughter, Harshita, who is also called as Chuchu. Uh, <laughs> That's so, why we know where the name is coming from. Sure, so, that, that clarifies a lot of things. Yeah. So I, I used to show her all these uh, cartoons from YouTube to, you know, like uh, entertain and educate her. But uh, for some reason, you know, like I wanted to do something with her. Uh, uh, so I, I started uh, making some videos out of her. Uh, in 2011, actually there was a very popular video on YouTube uh, named Charlie Bit My Finger, mm -hmm. wherein there were two little uh, kids, wherein the younger uh, brother would bite the, uh, you know, like finger of the uh, elder brother. And uh, he used to, uh, he, 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 he used to scream and cry. So that became a viral video and crossed 100 million views. So, I, I was into this YouTube thing right from the start. In fact, my first upload for was my dad's original number in 2006, when Google acquired YouTube. So, I was always into this while I was taking care of the other business. In 2013, everything came together. When I was showing these things to my uh, daughter, I felt uh, I wanted to do something with her. So, I created a character out of her. Initially, I wanted to do upload her own video. But then I didn't want to expose her to the media uh, two years uh, when she's... Uh, two years of age. So what happened was uh, I did, uh, I created, I'm a designer, I'm a flash artist. So I created a character like my daughter, uh, different types of, uh, you know, like dresses, hairstyles and stuff. So how all a father could imagine a daughter. Uh, <laughs> so what I did was when I, sh I did uh, an animation like saying a hi, hello and everything. So when I showed it to her, she liked it very much. And I said, why not we do a, a song kind of a thing? So she used to be chubby, she's still very chubby. So I selected this chubby cheeks nursery rhyme. So I uh, animated that character and did, did that nursery rhyme. And when I showed it to her, 
she you know like continuously watched it for more than 30 times i don't know why so i thought now she is liking it if she is going to like it i thought uh, the kids around the world should like it so i just simply you know like branded it as chuchu tv because my daughter is chuchu and uploaded it on youtube within just two weeks we got 300000 views i mean 3 lakh views i never expected was she the one who watched it that many times yeah <laughs> no 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 <laughs> it was the other subscribers of course no. yeah, yeah so what happened was so much of views and then we were always uh, i'm a part of a you know, like group a friends group uh, a five other friends named ajit krishnan subhi suresh and uh, 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 myself we are all friends for more than 30 years we all were in the part of the software business and the same team is now handling chuchu tv so i went to my friends and said guys we are always already trying to do something we were fed up of the service industry servicing clients from us and uk you know like sleepless nights and stuff and a lot of people in services yeah. out here so, so we don't wanted listen to, to that part yeah, yeah don't listen we to that we want yeah. always wanted to do something on our own we tried many things something clicked something didn't work but this one i i somehow felt i got that intuition uh, that this might work so i went to uh, my friends and told them guys let's try one more video and see uh, if a business opportunity can be made out of this sure. so if i want to remove youtube yeah out of your business yeah if i were to remove youtube do you think you can survive in other modes books cassettes now 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 we can survive because we have diversified enough right but at the start with a 2 minute clip i couldn't have gone to any broadcast company <laughs> for a right. deal right? Right. right so youtube is the power so that 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 uh, one platform is the biggest in the world and that's the biggest reach right. so it is a boon for all the creators from around the world right mathivan i'll bring you here he said the reach right he couldn't have got that reach otherwise if he were to go to a publisher yes uh, they won't entertain him they won't entertain a newbie but but digital has the power where if you've got raw talent it can actually go out into the world on its own absolutely so i think a good way to look at it is that i think in the 90s a lot of the companies that did well were hardware then after that in the 2000s is software and then we're moving in a time where it's really the user experience right so the companies with the best ux ui are coming are sort of able to reach out but now i think we're also entering a space where the content itself is determining how many people you can reach and what kind of people you can reach so now this digital as you're saying has that scope has that platform for you to be able to reach people out through that level of content so that's where i think the power of digital or the power of content per se can happen and like he said um, you know a video can reach 3 million people like that and suddenly there is an opportunity to reach a wide variety of people and a video like charlie bit my finger someone in chennai is watching it somebody in the uk somebody in south america so it's no longer bound by a certain um, you know user group it's just really diverse so I, I there's a lot of scope for that i think and being able to tell stories that you can't normally do right in a traditional medium sure so you're saying content is still king content is always king and especially in digital because you are able to bypass the broadcasters and everybody right. it's just easier to be able to get the story out if you are very if you create a good product right content is king digital is the queen i mean they can coexist i guess that's I just what came it up with that i just came up with that i thought they'll give me a round of applause but that's yeah. fine that's fine <laughs> just kidding so so uh, sham i'll come to the uh, i'll come to you on this a uh, lot of opportunities have opened up right you see a lot of wannabe singers actually becoming famous on youtube you see a lot of housewives uh, you know selling their wares on e-commerce sites so a lot of business opportunities have opened up uh, all, all kudos to digital where do you think this is going okay so one is um, uh, many people ask do i need to go digital my business probably is not ready to go digital right look at the kind of companies i think morning we had a lot of sessions uh, slides that talked about uh, 70% of the companies you know got vanished in a you know in a matter of a couple of decades and uh, it's not about uh, whether you want to go digital or not so the writing on the wall is clear if you don't go digital you won't exist as simple as that the death is absolutely going to be a certain it's going to be a matter of time how fast it's going to transform we don't know we know the stories of again we talked about in the morning kodak uh, nokia of the world etc right so it's it's not that uh, kodak did not come with uh, many people think that kodak did not you know um, uh, did not have a digital film please believe there are articles i forgot the name of the engineer right um, who actually built a, a filmless camera i think it's 1975 or something like that and then the answer he got from his boss was just keep it silent don't tell anybody 
right? Because it would actually cannibalize their film business because they were running, right? The point is if you don't transform, I think you'll be forced to transform. So uh, businesses have to take advantage of building the brand, expanding the customer's reach, getting to know about your market, and then trying to provide your products or services by showcasing the value. I think that way the business can grow multifold, right? It is not an organic growth we are talking about. You can grow multifold if you actually grab digital. So SMEs, I would suggest strongly you have to drive your business, you know, in a digital way. And it's very powerful, pretty cost effective. So, so Sham has very categorically said that, you know, if you don't go digital, you're going to die. You stick by that? Uh, anyone here who can challenge that statement? If you don't go digital, you will die. Does that apply to all businesses? Almost every business? This is how I look at business owners, the two types. Uh, business owners who've already jumped onto the digital bandwagon, but there's still few of them watching from the sidelines. Like, yeah, let's see what will happen. Uh, what's your, yes sir, uh, which, which business owner are you? Uh. Already into digital or watching the fun? I'm already into digital. I'm a software guy, right? Okay. Yeah. Is it okay to share the own bad experience? Is it okay? Sure. As long as it's not very bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because other people who <laughs> think about it. Uh, I am from. I'm a co-founder for Azure Soft. We are developing a software. In our in our complex, we have created a small uh, startup center. Small start incubation center because we have ex excess space. We want to make use of it. We have created a small uh, incubation center. And uh, digit, we are in the software, right? We want to go for advertisement in Google. Google will let us uh, trust Sundar Pichai and uh, we will take care of it because those, those who wants to, who are looking for uh, space, space, economical space, it is completely furnished space. We want to advertise that. We decided on it. Myself and my partner decided whether to go for uh, uh, Hindu real estate or go for digital, it means Google advertisements. We decided to go for Google advertisement. Uh, this was the first experience for us. We never tried um, Google as an advertisement uh, platform. 645 SEO, 10,000 rupees, 645 a clock, 650, 10,000 rupees gone. Per click, 65 rupees. Almost 250 clicks, and I not even got a single call. Your phone was switched on, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> not switched on. Digital is, I understand, after that I read more about how to use Google advertisement properly. It is like a knife. Luckily, we, our idea is 25,000 or 50,000 rupees approximately. We, we put in per day uh, slab of 10,000 rupees. It's gone in five minutes. Sure, that's Just a, five minutes. That's a very important question. Everyone's saying, let's go digital. That's why a lot of people are experimenting on digital. And as he said, if you don't get your strategy right, you know, it can bomb. 